are watching Jamaican News on YouTube, your number one place for local and international news about Jamaica. Now, remember to like the video, remember to share, comment, and subscribe to the channel for support and growth. With all of that said and all of that done, I'm going to jump into the intro, then I'm going to come back with one of my friends in. Welcome back my viewers and my subscribers. So right now everybody know what goldfish cheese bites are. Everybody know say yo, them thing ya are for little picnic. And not for a little picnic them, what they eat them thing ya cannot read it. Plus, not for the parents them, when they buy them things ya, they not go pay attention to them thing ya know, because they already know it's for a child. Nobody not go tap for read the ingredients and these things, you know, my viewers and subscribers, that is the truth and that is the facts. Because from we are grew up, we know say these little things are for pitney. So nobody now go look for say yo, ganja they go infuse in a this thing, you see it? No, me just get that picture here yeah, where you say cannabis infuse in these goldfish. My viewers and my subscribers, this company need to be charged. Right now, a drugs them are introduced to lick a lick a pitney them in a smart way. Anyway, a bar operator is now dead following an armed robbery in Manchester last night. Resident named the deceased as Christopher, otherwise called Blacks. Preliminary reports are that around 8 30 pm, Blacks was at his bar in Manchester when four masked men entered and held up the establishment. The gunmen reportedly demand cell phone, cash, among other valuables from patrons at the bar before shooting blocks in his upper body multiple times. One of the patrons was also shot and wounded during the incident. The gunman reportedly fled the scene in two waiting motor vehicles. The injured men were taken to hospital where blocks was pronounced dead and the other man was admitted in critical condition. My viewers and my subscribers, Jano Star may tell us a hey, sad. The incident resulted in a strong contingent of police and soldiers up to late last night in the community. Since Monday, Manchester has recorded three murders, that is one murder every night. Meanwhile, the St. Mary police have launched a manhunt for a farmer who have chopped another man to death during a dispute in Windsor Castle in the parish on Thursday. The deceased is 24-year-old Javan Patterson of Windsor Castle in St. Mary. Patterson attacker, who is said to be in his 40s, fled the scene after a month-long dispute between the two ended in Patterson's death. Reports are that during an argument between the men on Thursday, a machete was used to inflict multiple chop wounds all over Patterson's body. A passerby later stumbled upon Patterson's body and alerted the police. It is believed that Patterson had been accused by the suspected farmer of setting fire to his house some months ago. Patterson, however, repeatedly denied the act. A 40 year old farmer has been charged after his 15 year old daughter was allegedly raped and sexually assaulted at his home in Westmoreland. He is charged with rape, grievous sexual assault and sexual touching. He is accused of molesting the child on several occasions when she visited his home. On one occasion, the accused allegedly inserted his finger into the child. Now I said that word to my viewers and my subscribers because I don't want YouTube strike the channel. On another occasion, he was accused of pushing his hand in the child's underwear and touch her <laughs> again because I'm a subscriber now here in August of this year according to the child her father held her down and raped her the matter was reported to the police last week and following investigation the father was taken into police custody and subsequently charged on Tuesday so my viewers and subscribers I have a question why it takes so long why does it take so long? The child could have always talked about it from the first one. Obviously, say she does not live with her father, so she must have lived with someone else. Even if she have told the person that she lived with from the first time, a 
a report could have made. It wouldn't reach to the point where she is now a victim of rape. Sadly, my viewers and my subscribers, we do not empower our child enough to talk freely about some things that are bothering them. Anyway, it's now in the police hand, so hopefully, if he is guilty, he will do the time. Meanwhile, 23-year-old Adrian Leng of Ramtali Boulevard, Cornwall Court, St. James, has been missing since Wednesday, October 10. She is of dark complexion, medium built, about 5 feet 4 inches tall. Anyone knowing the whereabouts of Dejan Leng, please contact the nearest police station. Meanwhile, the St. Andrew South Police have named 29-year-old Sanjay Morgan of East Road, Kingston as wanted in relation to the death of 32-year-old Joseph Ricketts of Chisholm Avenue, Kingston 13. Morgan is being asked and being urged by the police to turn himself in to the Unsbeer Police Station by 12 midday on Friday, October 13. My viewers and my subscribers, please remember to like, share, comment and subscribe for support and growth. I'm out.